Here we will draw the six cardinal positions of gaze and create a table for the complete extraocular muscle actions. Cranial nerve 3 innervates the majority of the extraocular muscles, the medial rectus, superior rectus, inferior rectus, and inferior oblique. Cranial nerve 6 innervates the lateral rectus, and cranial nerve 4 innervates the superior oblique. We will draw the cardinal positions in coronal section, so first label the superior inferior and lateral medial axes, and then identify our perspective as from the left eye. Show that the lateral rectus directs the eye laterally, called abduction, and that the medial rectus directs the eye medially, called adduction. Then show that when the eye is abducted, the superior rectus directs the eye superiorly, and the inferior rectus directs the eye inferiorly. Next, show that when the eye is adducted, the superior oblique directs the eye inferiorly, and the inferior oblique directs the eye superiorly. Next, let's complete our eye muscle actions table. Across the top row, write primary action, secondary action, and tertiary action. The muscle's chief action in primary position, meaning looking straight ahead, is its primary action, and the muscle's secondary and tertiary actions are its additional rotational effects on the eye. Begin with the medial rectus muscle and show that its primary action is adduction and that it does not have secondary or tertiary actions. Then show that the lateral rectus muscle's primary action is abduction and show that it also does not have either secondary or tertiary actions. In the next row, write that the superior rectus muscle's primary action is elevation, its secondary action is intorsion, and its tertiary action is adduction. Then write that the inferior rectus muscle's primary action is depression, its secondary action is extorsion, and its tertiary action is adduction. Next, show that the superior oblique's primary action is intorsion, its secondary action is depression, and its tertiary action is abduction. Finally, show that the inferior oblique's primary action is extorsion, its secondary action is elevation, and its tertiary action is abduction. Now include the following two mnemonics. Superior people do not extort, which means that the superior muscles are both intorters, and oblique muscles rotate the eye out, which means that the oblique muscles are abductors. This concludes our diagram.